Hello everybody, welcome to today's reading. So we're going to be looking at what surprises are coming your way for anyone who's interested in Patreon where I post monthly zodiac predictions. As always, you can check that out down below. And yeah, that's all we're going to get right into your reading. We have five piles today. If you're feeling indecisive, I'll have a auto number generator link down below. Otherwise, you can take some time to pick with your intuition and timestamps will also be down below. Okay, pile one, let's look at what surprises are coming your way. So we have the seven of cups. We have the ace of wands. I see some sort of opportunity really coming through here. I feel like you guys are right now um, in the middle of looking at your options. You may feel like you have choices to make. Um, you may be wondering what's next for you. You could be fantasizing or manifesting at this moment. And we have the queen of wands. Um, I see an unexpected source of confidence. This could be through some opportunity, some activity, some lifestyle change. The Ace of Wands is always just inspiration and it's a creative inspiration and all creative means is to make something in any in any type of way um, which resonates for you really. And what I see is this leading to more independence, like you feeling like you're coming more into your own self, um, you feeling more, like you noticing your confidence is also bringing in more admiration, it's opening up doors for you, it's allowing you to see more than just one choice, it's allowing you to see lots of different roads and evaluating different roads. Um, I feel like, um, you guys are going to be surprised by the excitement entering your life with the ace of wands i get this really fiery and fun energy and this can be because with libra in the 12th which would make a scorpio rising we also have libra in the first house um that there's been a lot of trying to figure out how to balance things trying to figure out how you relate to others, which type of crowds you fit in, what type of people you can connect and build with. Um, some of you have been really isolated with the 12th house and what I see with the first house here is you're coming more into the world. There is still going to be that part of you that has their time and space which is still on some sort of spiritual journey like you're diving even further into your spirituality really um, but you might do it in a more intellectual way so you might be someone who can connect better uh, connect better through reading or writing and hearing things maybe not as much intuitively i do feel like you know fire energy does bring in strong intuition but there's something here with libra's energy where i feel like through learning from other people and connecting with others um it's going to give you time like it puts you in this space where you can take your interactions and then take some time and space away and like then you're figuring out what what do these things mean to me i don't know i feel like you guys are really deep people and you're going to be evaluating a lot but that excitement that passion that fun that's really coming through for you so let's clarify these cards we have the hanged man clarifying the seven of cups so you've been trying to gain a new perspective is what i'm seeing you're trying to gain a perspective i'm seeing that's more positive again i feel like you've been on some spiritual journey you've been doing some soul searching um there could be a specific situation in your life which you're really trying to narrow down or you're i feel like instead of keeping yourself close to one option with the hangman you're seeing things from a different perspective and actually looking and seeing all these choices and opportunities you have you're manifesting you're going to be manifesting this passion you're going to be manifesting this creativity for you and you're going to have all the tools you need to build upon it okay if you guys felt stuck in the past what i see here is you're strong enough you you have everything you need and we have the nine of swords clarifying the queen of wands i feel like this is a transition because there's been some worrying about a situation but you're gonna find um 
when you can kind of trust yourself more I, there's a lot to do with confidence here and you you might even view yourself as a confident person but i think it's even like something about the slow uh the solar plexus chakra um the ability to really really believe in yourself without any doubt without any fear and you're really building the strength where i feel you guys have dealt with worry let's see um what crystal you guys can use and work with during this time give us some information about the themes you're going through we have oh we have two Ooh, okay so we have herkimore diamond for reiki masters travelers on the spiritual path highly sensitive people that's you you're definitely an emotional sponge when it comes to people you're just very very sensitive in general this can help uh, clear your energy so i'm hearing working with white stones in general like selenite just stones that clear your energy you can work with this one is going to be very powerful and helpful and this stone is also white which doesn't surprise me here um so this stone is for storytellers soothsayer, soothsayers healers therapists psychics again emotional sponges people who are givers and listeners but to that's just your personality so that's just who you are you um it's not about changing it it's more about being able to balance it um expand your consciousness uh you use this stone when it's time to speak clearly and straight from the heart when you want to get weird ask have insight to make you a conduit for messages mysterious and eternal wow i feel like you guys are getting ready to let out your inner weirdo or inner whatever is inside you uh that just wants to be who they are without really second guessing it like this is the transition you're really stepping into a lot of releasing you guys are releasing a lot during this time it feels like some of you guys are going to be seeing healers or psychics and stuff like that or again you can really benefit from talking to someone all healers also need a healer so talking to someone going through some release just letting go of consequences worries fears regrets all of this during this time i feel coming up for you is being asked to be released and again the moments you do you find a lot of freedom you are good enough you guys are good enough um is what spirit is saying i see you're gonna stop over giving some of you guys have stopped the cycle long ago but it's over giving but also like not caring just not putting so much value into what other people think of you it really doesn't matter you know so a short journey so there's gonna be you're gonna be going out more okay some of you guys may be going on a short travel but i do see um you're traveling more like just generally you're gonna be going out of your house more um period of frustration lessons to be learned this is again a really spiritually awakening and enlightening time and because you're being awakened to these triggers of yours it's going to be about like navigating through them and again finding new perspectives through it um and again guys like healing practices for this pile specifically meditation breath work just uh again uh, going to healers that type of thing will be very very helpful is what i'm seeing wow see rebirth blooming fertility now with libra in the first house that creates someone very attractive you guys may have a lot uh, strong venus but what i'm seeing is you are going to be working more in self-care and beauty and a lot of people are finding you attractive and you're blooming so it's not like you're just going through a rough time that queen of wands is there the queen that people find magnetic attractive funny they really want to be around that's you especially with this blooming card you're going through a glow up you are glowing you guys are like it's again because you have that strength and perseverance i know right now you're going through a rebirth and it's such a process of this complete transformation you know really looking at um maybe it's interesting it's a skeleton like uh, seeing your past self as a more skeletal like almost version something cold and you may be looking at that past self and realizing i'm really changing and i'm really trying to change from that and sometimes it's really interesting to be like this is a new me and to embody it with full confidence with 
uh, with love and compassion. So I feel like that's what's happening, but you are you are really focusing on loving yourself and with fertility again and the ace of wands this is a very creative time i can see you guys you have an ability to make things if you want to manifest right now it's a really powerful time to do so if you want to start anything that's it's very likely that could happen for you fertility also speaks about an ability to attract things it's just really about owning it and believing you fully deserve it what's and again that can be triggering <laughs> we have wisdom and purification Ooh, you guys are going through such a detox mentally physically emotionally um maybe this happens a lot for you during the fall time scorpio season stuff like that but uh you're learning from your past you're cho uh, you're choosing to learn and grow from everything you've been through and focusing on creating a better version of yourself so i see pisces 12th house first house aries libra fire sign placements and virgo for more in-depth readings information will be down below hello pile two well, oh my god i'm just realizing you guys can see my amazon package anyways so what surprises are coming your way let's t ooh, let's take a look we have the wheel of fortune we have death i feel like especially during Scorpio season, you're going to feel a major transformation happening, a major, like, just a lot of, I'm, any place where you felt really held back during that time period, it could be even now, it's going to be like, oh my god, change is here, change is coming, it's, it's time to do new things, it's, it's, it's time to be everything that I said I'm going to be, or, maybe you didn't say it but all these realizations and awakenings are happening during this time there's a change okay things are not going to be the same with the wheel of fortune as they were okay you can expect stuff to be happening uh with capricorn in the 11th house venus uranus all um in the 11th house this is a very powerful time for you you're very focused on your money you're very focused on your bag you're very focused on also networking connecting you know learning from mm, i don't know if learning <laughs> learning is the right word you might actually be the one who's teaching others or is inspiring others with capricorn you really got your ish together like that vibe is coming up really strong you may have a lot of different perspectives and um if you are thinking one way about something and you don't like the way you're thinking about it with uranus you're gonna be like i'm taking a different perspective i'm looking at this differently i'm willing to experiment and play around and you know expand my consciousness even further wow 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 this is going to be a really good time for you guys in terms of your career and money 11th house is also a house of gains gains um you're very in control you're very powerful your your energy is very strong we also have the hope card so if you guys have been waiting for some good news in terms of making money um climbing the ladder of success so to speak that is definitely coming for you uh, let's see what else we have going on oh my gosh this is going to be such a fun time for you guys luck is on your side a lot of expansion um i get the energy of work hard play hard so you devote yourself to your work but it's like there's something here about with connecting with people you will be more open to connecting with your friends which is actually in a sense helping you you know being i don't know if it's a vibration of love so to speak but just connecting you know it's healing it brings a sense of hope I feel like you're finding your people or connecting with the people you love uh, in a deeper way, but in a way where you don't get lost. You know how we do sometimes, I don't know if all of you guys do, but some of us do in romantic connections. It's not like that. It's like you, you're gonna have a good time. Um, wow, you guys are like getting the best of both worlds with Venus here. Um, it's like you, a lot of you are going to be actually working um, on things that you actually really enjoy to do in terms of career uh, or it's like you know again work hard play hard you are 
this increase in success this luck this expansion you also have this really good like and positive attitude this feels like such a hopeful and fun time for you we have the six of swords so you've moved away from a lot of storms in the past the ace of cups new emotional situations okay this can potentially be love situations but this is new friendships new connections your heart pouring you're you feeling really grateful for the people you have or you're connecting to um emotional you know new emotional blessings really coming your way the eight of pentacles your hard work is paying off like that's that's the surprise coming your hard work is gonna pay off um oh it's such a fun reading uh you're gonna have a lot of ideas too it's like your growth just kind of is gonna inspire you for even more growth so what crystal could you use or work with during this time black tourmaline to protect your light wow i'm almost hearing like you may i don't like the idea of planting in your head people are sending you negative energy because i feel like you're just manifesting it but maybe just um even just being in crowds just being around people you might actually be more sensitive to energy than you may realize so black tourmaline can help you guys with grounding it can help you with emotional vampires it can yeah there's something here about maybe you're gonna feel so abundant and giving during this time i do feel like you're discerning i i almost get you are more discerning about who you give to but for whatever reason this is gonna help you feel more protective and, and safe and grounded and not make you second guess that you're protecting your light or just being a bit more protective of your energy on whatever scale that is for you and what energy are you really like basically excelling at you're not having troubles with um topaz that makes so much sense this, it, this card says increase your firepower um so you are dispelling any type of like procrastination it's kind of like you set your mind to something and you have this laser focus and you get it done and you attract what you need to do there's a lot of power and a lot of energy coming uh coming your way yeah you're going to be able to make a lot of action happen there's you're going to find that you're not second guessing yourself as much you're just doing it <laughs> again your focus is so strong you are knock you guys you guys have healed a lot or you've knocked out a lot of distractions or mindsets and now it's like you're breaking free you're really it feels like blossoming and blooming oh my gosh it's a spiritual development enlightenment awareness and understanding psychic ability trust your intuition yeah there's something about your energy very clear very all-knowing about situations romance celebration party again so that social aspect again a lot of you are going to be connecting reconnecting with um romantic people uh, not people <laughs> partners or potential partners but also just in general socialization expect to get some invitations to go places um and I just feel this being like a happy period for you um even if you are going through a transformation at times it's intense there's a really really good energy about this pile what i say delight happier more delightful time enjoying yourself yes okay so we have aquarius 11th house capricorn we have a uh, strong aquarius we have taurus libra scorpio fixed sign aries placements sagittarius we even have air sign i'll just i know that's a lot but thank you guys for watching for more in-depth readings information will be down below hello pile three and welcome to your reading so we have libra in the first house eighth house and tenth house these are all houses which are very concerned with self with career with power with money so i do feel like this is going to be a time that's really focused on personal power we have the six of cups ooh, and relationships um especially past relationships or friendships but this can also be hobbies and activities which just bring a sense of nostalgia and happiness this can be also creative energy like doing more things that the younger version of you would have wanted to do i feel like you're making more time and space for that 
and i think a huge reason for that is this ability to appreciate okay if any of you felt like in the past you know you couldn't fully appreciate the moments you were in or just things happening for you i feel now there's more of an op an openness like your heart is opening up um to connecting with people and therefore like you have a greater appreciation for life we have the appreciation card right here let's see what else what surprises are coming oh for pile three we have the ace of pentacles more money or a financial opportunity job offer knight of pentacles this should be quite a steady period for you um what's going to surprise you is that you're going to be more stable mentally emotionally um you're more stable you're able to create a routine for yourself um or make it better because you're you're nurturing your inner child you're making space for fun or doing things you enjoy and this is creating more stability and actually creating more opportunities again financially and materially for you as well ace of wands bottom of the deck let's clarify these cards what surprises are coming your way um others of you are going to pursue something which is more enjoyable for you that's uh a channeled message coming up we have the seven of cups we have the lovers a lot of you are going to be getting um a love offer is what i'm seeing um i feel like you guys have been in this place where you have these doors in front of you and you're figuring out which ones to open which ones to invest your time and you do have options okay i do feel like in love as well a lot of you guys have more options than you may think and feel or you may be realizing during this time i actually can open myself up you know um open myself up more to all different types of things there is something about you that's going to be cautious and practical either that's just like a personality or that's what this time period is creating for you a certain uh cautious or this energy where you like to really hold yourself accountable um but what i see with the lovers is there's some big choices to make like this is a time period where you are not going to delay things anymore even though with libra's energy you are someone who does really weigh out your options you don't make any you know you're not going to be making any super impulsive moves that you could see as a risk i'm not saying you won't be impulsive but if you see something as too much of a risk you're not going to impulsively do it pile three wow we have the ace of pentacles guys the spirit is trying to say money is coming an opportunity is coming and the star this is so beautiful you guys are manifesting you're in this really good flow again i think because there's so much focus on you you know your past the way you project yourself um you're you're really in this energy of wanting to create a really creative energy it is um such a hopeful period after maybe some pain okay starting to see the light again hoping and wishing for things and feeling excited about how they're going to manifest and then as you're doing that things literally are going to start to manifest in front of you let's See what else is pile what surprises are coming for pile three financial opportunity i just keep hearing financial opportunity your dreams need a practical plan show the world the real you wow big taurus and aquarius energy um this is a time where you might be triggered but it's gonna be in a good way because what i see is like these triggers of you know what if i want something i really have to like put my all into it and believe in it and if i really want to attract i have to believe in myself i have to show my authentic self and stop hiding it and stop wearing this mask or trying to pretend it's really just you showing up and coming out as you um i do feel it's a transition it may not happen immediately because these are full moon energies again because with the knight of pentacles there's something about you sticking to what you know but what you'll realize is the more you step into this idea of like you know entertaining these ideas entertaining that you can have more both of these signs rule houses of financial gain so it's like to create those gains um 
creating a plan and then really showing up as yourself fearlessly uh, willing to connect willing to learn willing to kind of think outside the box and i think that's what you're stepping into during this time kind of want to like almost clarify these two oracle cards the nine of cups wow so this is going to happen even though this is going to be an uncomfortable transition that either you've been going through or will go through um, and if some of you guys are really resistant to change spirit is saying like change is here it's time to really just roll with it and be excited with it because it's going to lead to a wish fulfillment i see this wish fulfillment coming i really feel like it's something to do with something you've been wishing for for growth of some sort um in your image career that type of thing more happiness pile two of this as well delight more happiness more of a light-hearted energy you know your tarot is actually really really positive here um pile three what surprises are coming your way this is a stone you guys may want to work with rodenite it feels like you're battling with your mind and your heart um it says when you're ready to use your real unique powers to actually make this rapidly spinning planet a more beautiful place this feels a lot to do with your purpose and it has a lot to do with opening your heart i'm getting an energy of when you actually are generous with your time with your energy with your effort with every aspect you know towards other people in a loving way but also just generally um it's it's gonna help open your heart and a lot of you guys are doing things you don't enjoy you're sick of it and this is really going to help shift that and create new opportunities so again you may want to work with that stone where you're going to stop delaying right full moon in taurus full moon in aquarius stop delaying and really fully accept your blessings and allow them to come here in a stone that you're really um not needing but something actually an energy that you're really going to be embodying is going to be the rose quartz uh so self-love What's going to happen what i'm seeing is this uh self-love and this your heart has been healing and it's going to create finally this transition it's going to create this change from healing the heart to this new cycle for you being ready even though you are cautious in so many ways you're ready and it's going to come to you through an opportunity of some sort those of you've been going through like some hard times ex expect more delight in your life okay pile three heartbreak over what you no longer have spear so yes again like we spoke about the swollen energies this transition this change is going to be hard um at first <laughs> um but it feels like your your choose like this time period is asking like are you ready like are you ready your life is waiting for you are you ready to move past this basically whatever this pain has been for you we have while well, probably a misunderstanding with someone to be honest but you're going to overcome it wealth seek out transformation that will help you yeah this is this again feels like it's really about self-empowerment because with libra here essentially you always kind of not diminish yourself but you almost because libra has those scales it's never it's always going to weigh other people's opinions it's always going to weigh and sometimes libras can do this thing where they end up undervaluing themselves because of that um scorpios too so a lot of scorpios are sidereal libras so i see uh and virgos um libra first house aries eighth house scorpio tenth house capricorn we have aquarius uh taurus libra coming up again earth sign gemini aquarius again wow aquarius is coming up really strong so for more in-depth readings i'll have my information down below thank you guys so much hello pile four welcome to your reading so we have capricorn in the 11th house and we have capricorn in the third house a lot of air sign houses coming up so right away i feel there's a lot of ideas coming through you may actually be socializing and connecting with people more but with capricorn here essentially you're really focused on career um so it's not like not to say you won't party and connect with people but i feel like there's still during this time you're, you're very focused on building yourself on on being consistent on your reputation and things like that so on being a boss so to speak so let's see we have the world 
coming up reverse something feels incomplete here and a lot of you i feel like it has to do with a relationship because we did have the betrayal card come up so we're having uh, in the past you guys uh, had a difficult time like feeling like you closed out a cycle like you know you moved on from it which is you know normal but it feels like um there is some sort of wish fulfillment coming through for you and instead of dwelling on what was incomplete or if you're still trying to complete something you're going to be like okay what can i do and you're actually going to see i don't know what's happening with you guys but this nine of cups here is really speaking about self-satisfaction you feeling good about yourself you really are finding some sort of confidence or something like that or those moments where you just are are, are blooming um you're gonna start to actually feel like the blindfold is being uncovered and you can see you can see these options and choices that you have the power to make every single day we have the king of swords so you've learned a lot from your past experiences and i think you're able to see how to make whatever how to make change you you understand how to do this you have the practicality again the knowledge um you have some sort of experience in a certain field or again through your experiences like maybe a couple years ago you would tell your older version the older version of yourself a lot of things we have the fool it feels like you guys are really letting go of baggage you're like you know what i'm tired of dwelling or seeing something as incomplete i just kind of am gonna choose to enjoy every moment which is possible it's not really like the fool is not really destination you know you can create new beginnings at any time the fool can be implemented at any time it's when you're ready when you decide like you know what i'm ready i'm ready to just feel the wind in my hair you know and <laughs> just live my life to be honest and we have the ten of cups there's something that makes you happy that you're going to be doing more or you're going to see as more of a viable option like you're really going to start to consider something this can be a person this can be uh, i don't know something you want to do some sort of opportunity may be brewing or maybe in the midst of manifesting right now is what i'm seeing um, and keep just this i don't know if you guys have this like sudden like really good outlook or it does come just hold on to it because it's going to come through and you're going to see a change you're going to see the tide turn you will with this fool's energy and the nine of cups you will and i feel like with the seven of cups it's like something is almost manifested something is almost going to like things are manifesting but there's something specifically that you want that can happen um it's just going to be about like kind of this outlook and face and you know capricorn's energy energy can be a little bit cynical don't be cynical about your dream or wish um you're overcoming disappointment this is what you're not going to be feeling uh which is great so expect less disappointment which may surprise you maybe you guys are like you know you're traumatized from something maybe not but maybe you're just like things happen people get disappointed expect less disappointment okay you are healing some sort of betrayal though i can see that like healing the wound that can be anyone um left but no more disappointments for you guys which is going to take you by surprise um uh, yes justice right karma the scales balancing so what crystal can you guys work with during this time we have a gate a gate i think that's how you say it uh when you want to get into your body try fire gate when too much screen time oh you guys may may need to be moving uh, more movement or energy needs to be moved throughout your body has you feeling disconnected from anything the slightest bit ego try the phone blah, blah, blah. um work life balance strugglers so yes it's like one part of you wants to socialize and connect and one part of you wants to work maybe there's some lethargic energy about getting up and getting something started so working with a stone like this or just right now telling yourself you know you have the power within to do this to create more create more balance and that's when you're going to see that you're breaking free from with um breaking free from feeling like a little bit stuck like those foundations will get built because you're you're finding this balance between work and life um it says find your solid ground 
and i'm just gonna pull a stone for what you guys are really overcoming something here about um yeah again actually not being too much in your head or you know using technology things like that is really gonna help you be out of your mind like i feel like i need to hear that to be honest like and this is something you're really um able to do uh you're finding what you're figuring out what to do next you're not delaying it anymore you're deciding to be like you know what i'm not going to be blind to the options i have i'm not going to be blind to the choices i can make and i really see this excites you like you're able to see ahead um even though you're overcoming again some sort of almost lethargic energy in getting there but the more you implement these good habits especially uh what i see with capricorn is once you start it's going to be easy for you to maintain whatever kind of like routine or mental habits you're keeping um you guys are really healing this aspect of if i don't it says uh, potential wasters those deeply sighing i hate my job type sagittarians so instead of being like i hate this i hate the situation the fool here is like i choose to make this more enjoyable if you want to manifest more money or position you're going to start doing your manifestation techniques versus complaining if you don't want to be where you are you're going to be like okay whose fault is this <laughs> at the end of the day my choice um to be here so you know this is all about making choices for you guys on whether that's mentally or physically deciding to do things way too many oh my god indecisiveness allowing your life to ramble aimlessly yeah guys to get to this good stuff that we see in your reading it's just gonna be like we have to we have to stop the indecision we just have to start making choices we just gotta do it some of you guys are going to be connecting with a younger sibling or someone younger than you. I see you connecting with females more, okay? An exciting event. This, You know, the holiday seasons are coming, but any sort of exciting event could be happening. A wish granted. I know it feels aimless right now, but as soon as you choose to steer the boat, this wish of yours is going to be granted. It's going to happen for all of you. It's just when you, it's up to you to choose when. Uh, and we have you will be taken care of in difficult times someone is really going to be connecting with you more making you feel safe um, i feel like friends with the third house um, and the left house friends and siblings the abundant universe will provide money abundance is coming you guys are all in different stages of this some of you are like you've stopped this indecisiveness or this dwelling or something you're choosing to complete something and really manifest it others of you are like in between others of you are like almost there you know what i mean uh the abundance is gonna come it's guaranteed it feels like it's very much guaranteed though um it's just about getting a move you know setting it into setting this fire basically into motion so i have third house gemini capricorn 11th house aquarius Picking up on Sagittarius placements, we have air sign and fixed sign. It's time to release negativity, so we have to... So you guys, oh, I feel like you've been through so much, and it feels like sometimes you pick the short end of the straw, but it's like spirit saying, believe that's not, that's not what's meant for you. It's time to release negativity. It's time to believe there's more. And the more you have that, the more it shifts, the more it continues to shift. That's going to be the fun part. Um, jealousy, obsession, all that stuff, guys. It's, it's time for change. It's time for transformation. So for more in-depth readings, I'll have my information down below. Thank you all so much. Hello, Pile 5. Welcome to your reading. So we have Jupiter in Pisces and we have Jupiter in Scorpio. Jupiter showing up already is a really good sign. It does show you're going to have blessings. I feel especially emotionally. But let's see what the tarot is saying. There you go. We have the four of wands. We have the five of cups. Let's pull one more. Okay. We have justice. It feels like a situation wants to restore itself, wants to come to balance, and it will. We're going to clarify these cards. Um, this pile is really, really interesting. We have the moon card that really wants to come out there. Let's clarify some of these. I feel like you guys are going through some either complicated stuff. I mean, 
or something. Something is going on. We have the Six of Wands clarifying the Four of Wands. We have the King of Cups clarifying the Five of Cups. So emotionally, uh, there's been like some sort of imbalance, but the, oh, imbalance, yeah. But it's coming to balance with justice, because I can see there could be someone actually who is. Um, you wouldn't expect it, but if, if you had a uh, conflict with someone in separation or have been having conflict, especially a water sign, or it doesn't have to be, um, they're feeling some sort of loss during this time about you, okay? That, if that resonates, take it. Uh, others of you, this is like you've been going through some sort of like, you know, feeling kind of bad for yourself. <laughs> it happens. It happens but we have the knight of pentacles clarifying justice it's like you're getting back on track you know you're going to be really consistent with yourself you're not going to let yourself fall off the horse you know what i mean you're like okay i have a choice here what am i going to choose to do in it then you're going to choose there's something about you that's jupiter and pisces scorpio you have emotional wisdom you have spiritual wisdom you know how to overcome situations um I think more than you even more than you realize let's pull some more oracle cards you're also gonna be having a lot of ideas during this time um what surprises are coming towards pile five Ooh, work is gonna be good your work your routine your health seems to be very good you're gonna be the person that people can really lean on or come to for advice because i feel like you you have the answers okay what is this here you have the answers um yeah there and even uh you know you may be <laughs> you may be like i don't want to say critical but you may find yourself you may find yourself criticizing or judging others i don't know why that channel message is coming up it's kind of just funny uh what else yeah i feel like this is interesting we have the four of wands clarifying six of wands clarifying the four of wands so i do see things going well you know like if you're wondering creating a past exams or if you can expect some sort of success ahead of you yes right there are going to be victories here there's going to be wins coming for you it is it's going to happen more the more you step out of your comfort zone really but i i see it is happening some of you guys have been through some like recent success in the past as well so stone you can work with is amethyst when it's time guys i can't make this up when it's time to give up the victim routine and start living with purpose hold on tight to amethyst there's going to be a choice here to be inspired and excited about life again because i promise you there are things that make you feel that way you just have to either find them or invest in them more and that will help you so much in straying from this emotional sadness don't spend too much time alone or you know do things do, it, it feeling happy again it doesn't yes it happens but it's usually a choice you know and my experience is always like okay what do i want to do like am i am i going to stay in this hole or am i going to like not be addicted to the sadness sadness can be addicting it can be comfort it's a way of holding on it's a way of holding on to situation by holding on to pain you know you know so um, and let's see, so you guys may uh, want to work with Amethyst uh, for self-empowerment. And let's see what's something you're really healing and overcoming. Ooh, keeping your cool, level-headed, yes. You are going to be able to navigate your emotions. Again, a king of cups here in, in a smoother way. If you felt very emotionally turbulent in the past, Jupiter and Pisces and Scorpio, you're very emotionally intelligent, emotionally wise. You know how to keep your cool. You know how to navigate. You do know the answers. It's not going to be hard to find the answers to these emotional things it'll just be about taking action on them and i see you have some sort of support and foundation and uh success you can be excited about that's going to really help support this and keep you motivated like so basically focus on that um mm -hmm. and you are learning to let the past go you are it's not like you're going to be stuck there justice again is about balance let's look at these tea leaf cards and see if we can get some other channel messages so far we have uh, sagittarius pisces scorpio water sign earth sign energy success 
you guys can expect success doing something risky taking a chance you're gonna step out of your comfort zone okay whether that's with a connection taking an opportunity saying yes to something you didn't expect it you guys are gonna take a risk but i see this risk is gonna pay off um i also see you doing things that you didn't expect yourself to do your hard work is paying off so again success recognition um this consistency you're putting with yourself is really gonna pay off and i also just feel like the type of person you are you're getting some type of like good karma here wisdom this has come up before learning from your past really choosing not to repeat cycles you don't want to repeat anymore um be emotionally stuck in ways that you don't want to be like you have the answers to come out of it which is wonderful and we're gonna pull one more card for you pile You guys are gonna again you're gonna take a leap of faith you're gonna claim your independence here really take back your power you're gonna be more independent and actually start to when you do it from a place of power and like not pity like when you're doing those things that are exciting and a risk again you're gonna take a leap of faith whether it's just no longer holding on to this and dwelling on it and believing there is light beyond this there is happiness waiting for you maybe just even in this moment right now uh, you could also be doing something new, okay? There's going to be something presented to you, some sort of any type of opportunity, and you're going to be like, oh, this seems nice, and there's a part of you like, you know, maybe a little bit cautious, but you're going to do it. You're going to take that leap of faith. Some of you are going to wonder, should I? Should I go for this? And it's like the universe saying, do it. Don't hold yourself back from when good things come into your life. Like, just basically take them and take a leap of faith towards them. And yes for more in-depth readings i'll have my information down below thank you all so much